Tropical storm Cristobal is picking up strength in the Gulf and will likely make landfall in the U.S. late Sunday. While it isn't expected to reach hurricane strength, there is concern for a busy season ahead. Jeff Baradelli has more. As the nation tackles multiple emergencies, it appears likely we're about to confront another, a very busy hurricane season. 2020 is turning out to be a very tough year for the U.S. with the pandemic and also civil unrest. It's just the last thing we need is a hurricane barreling into a populated region. Known as Hurricane Man, Josh Morgaman hunts the planet's most ferocious storms. It does seem like it is going to pick up soon. Including recent monsters like Irma, Maria, and last summer's Hurricane Dorian. Dorian decimated the Abacos and Grand Bahama Island, tying the record for the strongest landfall in the Atlantic with whipping winds of 185 miles an hour. I was inside a concrete building and the walls were just shaking from the force of the wind. And when the calm eye arrived and I stepped outside, all the trees were just sticks, cars thrown around the parking lot. I mean, it looked like what people usually think of as tornado damage. This thing was hardcore and it was, uh, it's just, uh, it's burned into my memory. Morgaman is an affirmed adrenaline junkie with 30 years and 49 chases under his belt. But he says these last few years have produced more than their typical share of adrenaline. It does look like in recent years, I've been in a whole lot more category five and category four storms. A new study from NOAA concludes what most scientists already assumed. These more intense storms are not happening by chance. Warmer ocean temperatures are enabling hurricanes to reach even higher potentials. The study's lead author, Jim Cosin, is one of the most respected hurricane researchers in the world. Warming the planet has a direct correlation with increase in the speed limit. Storms are just going to start hitting intensities that they hadn't hit before. Over the past four decades, his team detected a significant increase in a storm's ability to make the jump from a run-of-the-mill hurricane to a major category three, four, or five, meaning hurricanes now have a 30% higher chance of reaching that major status than they did just decades ago. And as winds increase, the potential for damage increases exponentially. And you think of, okay, 20 miles an hour, it's not that much. Oh, it is. The difference between a 130 mile an hour wind and a 150 mile an hour wind is enormous. While the NOAA study doesn't rule out the influence of a natural contribution to this trend, Dr. Kosin says when taking into account all the evidence, it does point a finger towards human-caused climate change. Do you think that humans have already started to warm the planet enough such that these hurricanes are becoming more intense? The potential for human activities to be impacting tropical cyclones in terms of everything that we know, almost all signs point towards yes. And CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff joins me now. He's here with projections on that latest storm threat. But even before we get into Cristobal, I, I just have one question for you, Jeff, about the, that new science and the increasing sure. intensity that they believe is associated with climate change. Uh, obviously, we've seen really significant hurricanes recently. Uh, in addition to having them be more serious, are, are you finding that there are also more hurricanes, more incidences of hurricanes as a result, um, possibly correlated to, to human causes of climate change? We don't think so. You know, it's really hard to kind of to, to find a signal where we have an increase in storms. In fact, a lot of our computer models projecting into the future do not increase the number of storms. Some do, some actually decrease, some increase the number of storms. But generally speaking, there is no consensus on that. What there is consensus on is that as we continue to warm the planet, these storms will get a lot stronger. And as we talked about at the end of that story, you know, as you increase the winds just 10, 20, 30 miles an hour, your damage goes up exponentially. That's why it is so important. Really interesting stuff there. Uh, so, Cristobal, everybody is watching for it. What's the very latest that you're seeing? So, it strengthened a little bit. It was over Central America just dumping feet of rain, disastrous flooding down there. Now it's emerging over the Gulf of Mexico. So, it did weaken. Now it's beginning to strengthen. Winds are around 40, 45 miles an hour. It's moving north at a decent kind of moderate clip. It's likely going to be making landfall in Louisiana over the next uh, 48 hours or so as we head into Sunday. But in the meantime, it's just kind of gathering steam because water temperatures are in the low 80s in the Gulf of Mexico. And that is uh, past the threshold at which that these storms can develop. So that's what's happening right now. And overnight tonight, it will continue to strengthen. 
And where will we see the biggest impact for the storm? Is it, is it there in Louisiana or before that? Yeah, so it's going to be moving directly north towards Louisiana. We think it's going to make landfall on Sunday night. So late Sunday, Sunday night, early Monday is when the worst of it's going to be. However, the rain's going to start as early as tomorrow afternoon along the Gulf Coast. And by the way, it's a broad system. You can't see my hands, but broad. It's a very broad system, so it's going to be affecting um, western parts of Florida around the Tampa Bay area and then all the way around the Panhandle across uh, Alabama into Mississippi and into Louisiana. Anywhere from the system east is going to see a lot of heavy rain. So, you know, that's going to be the worst impact. And also in terms of wind, well, the winds are not going to be tremendously strong. We think it'll probably attain winds around 50, maybe as much as 60 miles an hour when it makes landfall uh, in Louisiana. So that is short of hurricane force, not quite hurricane force. But you may see a couple of wind gusts to 75, which is hurricane uh, force winds. Generally speaking, though, the wind gusts will be anywhere between 40 and 60 miles an hour as it moves on shore, and that could be for Louisiana, also into Mississippi and Alabama as well. And by the way, some isolated tornadoes always happen when, when these types of tropical storms make landfall. Good to watch out for all of that. Jeff, we might not be able to see your hands, but we can see your, your glorious multicolored <laughs> map, so thank you. <laughs> thank you.